Welcome back to another episode of the Champions and Legends Weekly Warrior Happy Hour on location. Now today we're on a location at uh, Next Level Fitness and we're going to be hanging out with Dwayne Malone. Now I think you've seen it but let me just share some of this with you right now. Uh, some of these awards, I'm in his office right now and I don't know if he agrees with me being in here checking out all of his accolades and the different things that he's done. Yeah. Good, we're good. I'll be right there. And uh, what we're doing right now is, um, this guy is an, a natural, okay, so I guess that would be called a natural uh, bodybuilder. So uh, I'll have him explain what that is, but um, I, I've checked out his office now. We're at Next Level Fitness. Now, um, it's brought to you by Champions and Legends. Well, Champions and Legends produces CBD-based sports supplements for athletic preparation, performance, and recovery. And we are in this fantastic gym, and it's nestled in the middle of Houston, and uh, people get in here and get it done. So um, we want to thank you all for coming. And again, Champions and Legends produces CBD-based sports supplements for athletic preparation, performance, and recovery. And to get Champions and Legends products, you just go to championsandlegends.com, and there you'll be able to order product, and you'll be able to get a wealth of information on CBD and understanding what that's all about. Now, at next level, all types of people come and work out here. Um, uh, from whatever walk of life, but they get, they get a huge, they get a huge boost by working with Dwayne. And uh, I'm gonna come over and we're gonna talk to Dwayne right now. Uh, I'm excited, man, because I know he's gonna put me through the paces today. I know he's gonna put me through the paces. So I'm gonna put the mic, put this baby down right here. And are we live over there? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invite you. I'm gonna invite you over. Um, let's see here. Are you watching? Well, actually, are you watching the Champions and Legends? Uh, it's on live. Okay, so. Getting situated. You got your mic? Yes, sir. Okay. Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. What do we got going on here? I got the, yeah, we're good. We're live. So, uh, welcome, Jimmy and uh, Rohan. Good to see y'all. We're getting things started here. And, uh, okay. Champions, baby. What's well, there up? There he is. There he is. Okay. Hey, guys, this, you can take your mask off, right? We can take yeah, the mask yeah. off? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, this is Dwayne Malone, okay? And he is, man, you, you have so many awards and so many accolades for doing uh, bodybuilding. And you know, I'm not really a bodybuilder myself, but you know, the work that you, <laughs> the work that you guys do, I tell you what, let's get this mic situated. Okay. And uh, the work that you guys put in to do this particular job is, Amazing. Now you okay. got football players and basketball players out there. That, there we go. Up. All right. Do it. Okay. Cool. Um, so I could break down with the definition yeah. of so what I consider I mean, bodybuilding. Like you. I think you're cool. We don't have COVID or anything. So okay. So tell me about your journey, man. Tell us. Tell everybody about what's what's going on. And oh, I know what to do. I forgot. I want to invite you on. Let me see here. Boom. Let's go live with Dwayne Malone. About the gym. Tell about the gym. We're at the Houston Next Level Fitness, 3811 Law Street. For those of you that may not know where it is, it's in the middle of uh, West University, across from Lakewood Church, off of Bissonette and Westland. We've been here about 18 years, and here what we do is we get results. We get down and we get it done, and that's what it's all about. Um, I've done some bodybuilding in the past. Uh, I believe everyone is a bodybuilder. If you lift weights, 
then you're building your body. The difference is there's active competitive bodybuilders, right. and then there's pro bodybuilders, and then there's elite champion bodybuilders. There are different levels okay. to this. Okay. So we okay. get it straight. I always got to check my wife with that because I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm a retired world champion. Oh, it's a difference. You hear the difference? You hear that? I paid the price He's for that. He's not a bodybuilder anymore. He is a retired world champion. I love that. I love that. I'm a, a I'm, a I'm a retired world champion too. I think. Hey, something. it's all good. All right. So, um, you know, you get results. You said you get results. I think one of the things we want to talk about is that, that people do uh, intense activity, and then they come back and think that they want well, like competition. Like they yes. do competition, they come back. They've been working out hard. There's a different workout that goes after competition or after super intense uh, series of workouts, right? You're right. You're and um, sh I want you to share some of those workouts with me, some of those basic things that I can do to okay. not only build, but to strengthen my joints and to do things right. Okay. 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 Um, in addition to that, you get results. This guy does a 30 minute workout with people that are getting results that people don't get in two hours. Okay, and this basic uh, understanding of how to lift properly is what Dwayne does. So, pretty much, I, I developed a formula for 30 minute transformations. Why? People can save more time for family and for work. And those are people's biggest excuses of why they don't work out. So, I wanted to create something to eliminate the excuses. Proper form, proper technique, high intensity, and get it done in all 30 minutes. There's 24 hours in the day. Everybody could find time for 30 minutes, whether it's at home, through the Zoom, or right here at Houston Next Level Fitness. And what we're going to do today, I'm going to take you through some of my favorite exercises that we get done in 30 minutes that you don't have to be a bodybuilder to use these exercises, but you could transform your life. Let's do it. Transform my life, man. Transform my life. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let me see. We, we can get on this one. And you can yeah, see me, I'll um, slide you over. Or slide me over just a little bit. Right there. Okay, okay. So the, the bottom one shows it, and then you can kind of see me. And if I sit here, okay, we, we, we're in pretty good shape. Oh, look at the guns. See the guns? Okay. I see the guns. Okay, so what you need me to do? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a leg exercise, a chest, a back, a arm, and a shoulder. We have five major exercises, and we're going to get it all done. And I'm going to take you through it. I'm going to take the hat off this. All right, so if you stand over here, yes, you'll sir. Be, able to be seen and everybody can get a look at your handsome face while we do this. Okay. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to do a dumbbell chest exercise, and then you're going to show them how you typically do it. Then I'm going to show you the way that I think is the most effective way. And Never saying somebody else's way is wrong. There's plenty of different ways you could do it, okay. but this is the way that I do it that produces results quickly and reduces your chances of getting injured. That's, that's key. I don't want to get injured. I'm too old to be getting injured. Okay. Oh. So just, oh, just take them back like you normally was. Oh, <laughs> he was doing okay. earlier. So Just rolling just back. To get on, get just do your thing. Like you ain't met me. We ain't uh, never. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Come on back up with that. Okay. okay. So okay. what we want to do first is uh, what I believe in is you need to be able to control the weight. Okay. It, it means everything, plus you're less likely to injure yourself or someone else in the gym. As you just saw, he just rocked back with the dumbbells. And so instead of doing that, his goal is to get, to get better. And so with that, he's probably most likely going to get stronger. So the weight's only going to increase. So the way he just rocked back and muscled the weight up, um, that's not the safest way. So we want to eliminate bad habits right now before we get into the heavy weight. So what I would advise someone do is to put the weight on the edge of their legs. Use the big muscle groups, which is your ass, your quads, and your core. So leave the dumbbells on your thighs until your shoulder blades are dug into the pad. And then once your shoulder blades hit the pad, you immediately press straight and the dumbbells are already in position you don't have to use any unnecessary energy to get the dumbbells up off your chest and yourself spotting yourself and also we're not going to throw the dumbbells on the ground and risk breaking somebody else's ankle because you can't control the weight so what he's going to do first he's going to use his core and he's going to use his legs 
he gonna keep the dumbbells on his thigh until his shoulder blades hit the pad. Immediately when his shoulder blades hit the pads, the dumbbells are gonna go straight off the thigh into the air, and we'll start our rep count. Okay. Ready? They're up. So straight up right there, you wanna dig your shoulder blades into the pad, relax your head back, inhale as you're coming down, flex the pec, exhale, press up. There you go, flex, and then move. Fire the muscle, make the movement. And so what I see most people, they're just moving the weight. They're not contracting the muscle. So they're just going through the motions of completing their reps. And so that's why they're not seeing the results that they want. And also they're using a lot of their deltoids instead of keeping it in their pets. And that's the difference. Just minor little detail. Keep the tension on the pet. Do the opposite coming back. And then I'll grab the dumbbells from my client. Or if they're working out by themselves, they could just sit them down. Gotcha. But with that, he didn't just lean back with the weight or he didn't just throw it after his rep. And if I give you a side visual here, you will see most people will get on here and they just pressing mm -hmm. and their chest is caving in and they're using that front delt. But if you pin those shoulder blades back, you can see the pecs work. Fire the pecs, make the movement. Fire the pec, make the movement. Now we're keeping constant tension on the pec. We're not using the deltoid and we're not coming out of alignment, risking an injury. What's the next one for us? Okay, so we might as well knock out the big muscle group. So what you did first, you pressed it. Now we're going to pull it. So what I'm going to do first, in case you need to uh, come over here and get alignment, we're going to do a bent over row. And so I see a lot of people do this and they do different stuff. And so we want to make sure that your hip is aligned with your shoulder. So we're not engaged using our rhomboids and our traps. So at this angle, I will have you flatten out a little more. Yeah. So what you would do is we're going to pull our dumbbell here. Okay. And I'll come over here and we can show. So you see how his heel is up. So therefore, that makes him a little more unstable so we could get more work in our core so we're not spending two hours after the workout crunching. The back is flat, the stomach is tight, shoulders is back, chest is up, good. And we're gonna squeeze the lap before we pull it up, good. Squeeze, then pull, hit my hand. You wanna hit my hand, why? Because the bicep is working as a secondary movement and if he doesn't get it up high enough, the bicep is going to work a little more than we would like and try to come to primary movement. So we want to be about right here, tighten it up here, shoulder back, chest up right there, keep the heel up, keep the heel up, and that's what we want. Just little minor, little detail. And you, When you see people that's doing this in the gym, most of them are up too high, and they don't have no control when it's going down. All right, let me get the other side so I'm not... We want to keep that balance, baby. We can't be lopsided. So we want to make sure. Check his alignment. Everybody out there on Instagram world, baby, check his alignment. See where we at. The heel is up. So we make him a little more unstable so that core can work. The back is flat. Core is tight. Chest up. Tighten that lat. Squeeze. Tighten that lat and squeeze. Tighten that core. Squeeze. Chest up. Minor detail, baby. We're not trying to work our romroids and our traps. We're keeping it all up in the lats. I feel, I feel. Yes, sir. Good. All right. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Okay. So we got a chest exercise. And then what holds up the chest is the back. We had a back exercise. Now we're going to get out the way the biggest and baddest of them all, which is legs. Most guys don't even want to work their legs. So what we're going to do is go over here. With these two, and we're going to do a static lunge in place. One of the most effective exercises that I've always used for building muscle in the leg. So if, if our alignment is on point and this heel is up and our feet is shoulder width apart, and then also what's important is we want to make sure that this ankle and this knee stays in alignment at all times. Then we want to make sure when it comes to the lowest point that this hip, this glute shifts back so he can engage his glute and his hamstring. Now this is not just a quad exercise. He's sweating too. He burning. He probably, he, he wishing I talk a little faster, but I'm trying to make sure y'all hear what I'm saying. 
So you squeeze okay. your glute, exhale, and come up. Squeeze your glute, come on down. Down. This is details that this ankle and this knee stay in alignment, but when he gets to the bottom floor, he shift his hips back without bending over too far so we could keep his core engaged. And you will see it a little more once we do the other side, because we have to do the other side so we can stay balanced, right? Yeah, we have to do the other side. All right. We have to do the other side. Good. Okay. Good. So I'm going to get him situated. I'm going to get him situated. Y'all check his form out there in Instagram land. Here? So I know y'all see some crazy shit on Instagram. People doing some weird shit. Right. So here, alignment there. Shift. Good. All right. And that's my fault. You still can't see the glute and the hip shifting back. Chest up, shoulders back. Good. Alignment is that knee and ankle stand in alliance, not snapping back. When you see people doing this in the gym, it's snapping back and it's taking tension off. Yes. Don't do that. No, that's some fucked up shit. There you go. Excuse my language, but when we're talking nutrition, fitness, I get a little too passionate sometimes. So here... As you can see here, when I come down, shift it back, and then come up. And that's what we want. Down and up while these two stay on the line. So we did a chest. We did back. We did legs. So what we're going to do next, simple bicep and shoulders. So you have a seat right there. Good. So, yeah, let's get him a side view. I think that will be more efficient right there because what you can see right here is the alignment here. We want to sit up straight, core tight, shoulders back, chest up, just a slight lean in the waist forward there. We want to take his elbows as if they're in the center of his body, like somebody took a hammer and nail and just hammered them straight through because we don't want them babies rocking back and all this crap. I don't know what these guys be doing. I think they dancing. So we squeeze your shoulder blades here so we can take our delts out a little more. Rotate your palms up. Now start flexing the muscle now and then bring it up. Good. Down, flex. Let it go all the way down right before the elbow locks out. Keep shoulder blades squeezed to keep the chest up so the delts aren't helping. Move the elbows to the center of the body. Flex at the bottom. Flex even hard as you can at the top. You work those biceps so they feel like they're going to bust wide open. Keep your core tight. There you go. So we got chest, back, legs, bicep. Who doesn't want a pair of bowling ball shoulders? A nice pair of delts, male, female, doesn't matter. You wear blouses, you wear tank top, shirt off, swimsuit. It doesn't matter. A good pair of delts will totally bring out your physique. So what we're going to go to first is we're going to go to one of the most important muscle groups that gets the less love, that get the less work which is the media head, the middle delt, media head. Here, I'm going to have you scoop forward just a little. Good, good. Grab this left one so we can be balanced. Now I have a good side and a small side. Core tight. We're going to slightly lean forward. We're going to keep our shoulder blades pinched. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag it out. And what we're going to do, we're going to make sure that the elbow stays higher than the dumbbell and the wrist at all times. All right? Bring it down. We're going to go for 10. One. And we're isolating that medial head. It's going to pull it out, which is going to give you a wider frame. And if your diet's right, it's going to make you look twice as lean and twice as big. Just some isolation in that medial head, which gets neglected the most. Right there. Down. Right back up. Down. Just like somebody is next to you, you're pushing them away. You're pushing them away, dragging it out. Keep that chin up. All this is connected. So if your chin drop, your shoulders are going to roll, and this is going to pinch and collapse. Keep it open. That's all you got? All right. I'll take it. So what do you think? Is that a little different than what you've been doing? You know, it seems like the same exercises, and I've gotten so much more out of them. So that I appreciate. I don't appreciate you pushing me this hard. These people watching me melt on the deal. But hey, man, I appreciate it. It's only been a couple um, minutes. It's only been a couple minutes. I know. Yeah. I know. So all of these exercises can be done at home. 
Yes. They, of course, a trainer would be most optimal to have someone watch your form. Um, you mentioned something about nutrition. Post-workout, post-major uh, intense workout, what nutritional tips can you give us? For nutritional tips, um, when I were competing and doing shows at my elite to doing it, it, it was making sure that I always had a fruit, a natural fruit immediately after the workout mm -hmm. and a balance of protein and a carb. But also what you can do, make sure you get some veggies in. And when I say protein, it doesn't always have to be meat. You could get protein in through veggies, through fruits, and through vegetables. Like right now, I think I'm in pretty good shape, and I, I hadn't eaten meat in about six months, on and off, just um, using meat and letting meat go. But a balanced meal quickly and fruit. I hear a lot of people say, don't eat fruit. It has too much sugar. Well, fruit is from the earth. It's one of the most natural things you can do. The more fruit you have, the more efficient your diet's going to be. Hmm. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. See, I can get more fruit in my life. More fruit, more veggies in my life. Um, you know, you also mentioned that uh, people come in and want to get uh, get big really fast. Yes. What is the key to getting big and really fast? Well, the key is hitting areas of the body, the big muscle groups, so putting on size and having quality nutrition. If you eat a bunch of shit, you're going to look like shit. You're going to gain fat, not muscle. Gotcha. So the key also into growing a body is working your glutes, keeping your hormone levels at its highest. So legs, glutes, and also back. Those are the two biggest muscle groups in the body, along with clean nutrition. You need higher fats as well as higher carbs, but you have to make sure you're keeping a good balance and you're not taking in too many calories to where your body fat is going to shoot up too high. Make sure you're not taking in too much excessive protein. Your body's not going to break down and process all that protein. So find the right amount that works for your frame based off how active you are, how much you weigh, and how much lean muscle you're carrying. There's numerous formulas that's out what you can find. I think what I heard you say also is that the, the big muscle groups help you lose weight faster. That's the good thing. The big muscle groups are going to help you put on muscle and gain weight the fastest, as well as lose weight the fastest. Lose fat, you mean. Lose, lose fat the fastest. Either way, most people, I've never heard anyone that say, I want to get fatter. <laughs> no, no. People no. want to get more muscle or they want to get leaner and become smaller. So when they say bigger, they're truly really trying to increase their lean muscle size. Most people don't say they want to become fatter. So therefore, you must take in cleaner calories so you're not just loading in crap. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, there you have it from a professional. And that's what the Weekly Warrior uh, Happy Hour is about, is bringing in professionals to give tips on, you know, best practices in, uh, best practices in preparation, performance, and recovery. And uh, I'm needing some more recovery here. Now, I went out on a limb today, uh -huh. and I, uh, you said that you had an injury in your shoulder. Yeah. And yeah. Um, we used the 1,000 milligram muscle cream, and uh, I'm just going to ask, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I have great movement. Um, you know, I, I've had an injury in the past that's came back. And, and so I do a lot of massages. That's the key to recovery is the maintenance work, doing the little stuff. People are always worrying about how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Well, guess what? If your diet is crappy, you're going to end up spending that money anyway because you're going to be paying some doctor or you're going to be on some form of medication. Right. And so with that being said, good nutrition is the key and doing the maintenance work. So I have a lady that does fascia tissue that works on me, uh, Sakina, as well as Dr. Tran. They're constantly working on the tissue. And so what I've had lately is, is the CBD oil. I have used it in the past. And today I used a different cream that kicked in a little quicker. And now I notice I have a whole lot more mobility in my arm and I feel more strength, which a couple of weeks ago I could not even use it. And earlier I was moving it pretty slowly. Now I have much better movement and control in this shoulder. As you can see, even if I pull this off, I'm all mic'd up. You will see I'm all cupped up that I've been getting, cupping and worked on, but this CBD oil stuff feels really good. So he was using the recovery line, um, uh, muscle rub, 
a uh, thousand milligram and that is what he used and it was probably 30 minutes ago that he put it on yes uh, so I i'm excited uh you know again you don't know how people are going to respond but I, I knew that you have you would give us an honest no i feel uh, amazing um i've won a few world titles back in the past so i get a lot of people give me a shout trying to endorse their product not saying that's what you all are doing um and i'll tell them straight up it's bullshit i'm not vouching for bullshit and i'm not whatever but today was all about the interview i tried the product and if the product didn't work i wouldn't be talking about the product the product works i feel good i feel like i have good movement in my shoulder and also just make sure you're focusing on the little stuff to get recovery right. and the maintenance work you have to spend money to get the maintenance work you probably heard this so much if a car keeps driving and is constantly on the road, you have to change the tires, rotate the tires, oil change, all that stuff. You have to do the same stuff to the body. Whether you're not a workout person, you're constantly on the grind trying to provide for your family and build your business, you have to do the little stuff. And the CBD oil is part of maintenance or whatever the product is that you believe in. But you have to realize whenever there's something that hit the market and it actually truly works, People are going to come around trying to bootleg it, making knockoff versions of it. That's not going to be efficient. So I've tried CBD oil in the past, and um, I had a really good friend that had really good product coming out of California. And this is by far is just as good as that, if not better. And I bought some at a local gas station when it first hit the market as a craze a year or two ago, and it was bullshit. So you have to make sure you don't buy any crap. But um, you have a really good product, Thank and I really you. like it. And definitely, my shoulder feels better. There you have it. From the guy who would not bullshit you, right? Um, and again, thank you for watching the Champions and Legends Weekly Warrior Happy Hour. And uh, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And October the 9th, 2021, yes. the Texas Titan Show, natural bodybuilding shows, baby. I will drug test your ass. And nothing against the people who are unnatural. They got to put that work in too, baby. I respect what they do. But I wanted to create a lane for individuals that, you know, they just want to be a little safer. Yeah, yeah. That's so all it is. Go ahead and explain to them what natural means. Because I didn't really know how it was. I know it's no chemicals, no... Well, uh, the difference of natural in, in, in the bodybuilding world is just simple. Is it, you're doing a show and you're not using Lasix which can make you really lean really fast, pour water out from everywhere and make you look really lean. You're not using um, Pacific Pro Hormones or steroids or growth hormones. It's just that simple. Those are the four or five major things um, people are looking for, which distinguish one or the other. So I'm not saying by any means that just because someone doesn't do a natural show that they're taking all those things that I named. Right. And, and so CBD oil will be considered natural. So it's, it's not going to raise your hormones levels and make you perform a certain way. Right. So that's right. considered it's a natural two, it's product. Two different categories. It's yes. Not, it's not one two of different three. categories, baby. But um, October the 9th, 2021, right here in Houston, Texas, the Texas Titan Show, baby, coming through that GBO organization. Be on the lookout for natural promotion transformation shows also on natural promotions and we'll be there we will be there so once again champions and legends produces cbd-based sports supplements for athletic preparation performance and recovery we'll see you next week on the weekly warrior happy hour get shit done <laughs> i love it oh we got one over here